and welcome back guys so I'm over here playing on Battlezone I unfortunately have been banned from the Alliance game 2x PvE server free VIP TP and skill tree so apparently they really didn't like me saying publicly on YouTube why I left the Alliance game server and apparently they are accused me of drama and a accusing me of causing some kind of problem for their server and this is why they banned me and I'm like what does my YouTube channel have to do with your server? I was following the rules of your server you had a gr large group on your server being a dick to s someone they didn't like and you banned the victim what a piece of shit server <laughs> I, I, they, they nailed, the co nailed the server more in the coffin than I could not trying to be toxic or anything I'm physically saying by banning me from the server for me following the server rules and not banning those that were lashing out at the person that's literally just a victim when you're choosing to ban the victim that's being bullied you couldn't say that that server was toxic or toxic than me describing why I left So, uh, you know, it, it saddens me that Alliance Games, you know, this is how they're operating now, because, you know, last video, I described the best way I could of why I left the server, you know, I tried to make it sound good where it didn't sound like drama, some people started as drama, some people didn't, some people understood that, you know, I've been on the Alliance Games server for about a year, and... I haven't had a problem until I bumped into the Bad Omens guy and a guy called Fatty. Haven't had any issues. And then this guy, Glove, comes by, starts doing tea, starts undercutting, and you know, they know that I don't like it when people do the undercutting shit, and it's just toxic, you know. But when you've been playing on a server for a year, and it's just the same shit over and over again, Oh cool, there's a new map. Oh cool, you put a new plugin. But it's not something that's encouraging to want to stay on the server. And it's seen as like boring. You know, day one. The uh, Pew, uh, Pew Pew clan is taking down Chopper. Does that seem fun? That's not fun. That's depressing. That's. You know, you're sitting there vibing, and someone's taking down Chopper on day one. Uh, that's a real vibe killer right there. So, I you understand, you know, if you want to ban me, go for it. It shows how toxic that server is. Uh, but, I don't want to talk about Alliance games anymore, you know. I'm just mentioning them here because I felt like I had 60 pounds of backpack, like weight on my back, being on the Alliance game server. And as soon as the friends invited me to Battlezone, I felt like the weight was lifted, basically. Where it's like someone flipped the light switch and I went from being drained of energy to being hyper and and I'm excited to be on a server that's like Alliance Games and it has zombies, it's got hordes, it's got NPCs, it's got more events uh, in their skill tree. They don't have set gene, which I can live without it because I already know how to make god clones without set gene. It's just harder. But this m removes the issue of toxic clans or groups that would abuse the tea farms and sit there and do the undercutting shit. It removes that entire loophole. So, you know, if you look back on those videos of me playing Alliance game, you notice that over time my energy level of being excited on that server just dropped. And then we went from the shit show that went down the day before to now where I'm now playing on Battlezone and you notice I'm a lot more, I have a lot more energy, I'm excited, I'm happy, 
so you kind of see what happened there. And I'll, I'm happier on here than when I was on Alliance Games. It's it's a weird thing to describe. Not trying to do drama or anything like that. I'm just mentioning that I went from a server where I used to be happy on it, but when you get everything you want, it's not really happy anymore. And you know, what's the point of playing on a server where there's people taking down Chopper Day One? Like seriously. So on here, it's vanilla. There is no 2x. This means it takes longer to get resources, components, and everything. Uh, there's some kind of piggy over here, so I'm gonna jump over here on here. I'm gonna go up here where I can't get to me. So I'm gonna type in flash skill. So I like their UI better for Battle Zone. And how do you get money? Well, you actually have to interact with like going and killing NPCs or doing events or monuments in order to make money on the server. And then you can upgrade. They start off at 50, so I've already upgraded these funds already. And it's basically the same thing as the Alliance game skill tree, except this one's more advanced and it has the correct balance and limits of what, you know, it has the correct balance. Uh, the Alliance Games tech tree slash skill tree doesn't have a really good balance in my point of view. I think it's a little too overpowered. So on this server, because it's vanilla, it's got all the right tweaks and balances from what I can tell. So I look forward to enjoying playing this. So let's check out their skill tree over here on the Battle Zone server. So I put a tech build in here. Uh, it makes it so I can do more damage. Uh, as you can see for architecture, there is, you know, for growing plants, there is no uh, set gene. That does kind of suck, but I understand why it's not there. Because if anyone could just skill tree into it, then everyone would do it, right? So. Yeah, that's all the different skill trees. And then if I do slash S, oops. Slash shop. If we go to slash shop, I can sell stuff. So let's say I want to make a bunch of handheld shells, and I could go over here and sell it. Basically, if I really wanted to, or I could buy some. So what can you do with this shop? You can buy things. Like you can buy a drone for a hundred. You can buy a card table. It's not as much as like the Alliance game server, but it is better than nothing. So, I wanted to make this short video of saying, hey, uh, I'm much more happy and excited that I'm on a new server. Uh, it is upsetting of what happened on Alliance game server, but based on their behavior, it's, you know, best to move on. No, no drama. Like, and simple answer, if they're willing to ban you based on what you said on a YouTube video, clearly that's not a good server and those are not good people to be around. That's just the honest answer. Oh my god, he's saying bad things about our server! Okay, well if you actually give a crap about your server, you'd be fixing the problems, not just banning the person that's being bullied. So that's a lot about their server now, doesn't it? Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Come and join me on Battlezone. Um, go ahead, show Alliance game server that, you know, being a dick or a jerk or an asshole doesn't get you very far. They just need that wake up call that their current behavior is not okay. If you like a challenging server, come join Bowser. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'm gonna go do a little farming. I'm currently setting up my 8x8 farm over there. 
and then I'm gonna set my horse farm get that going and this is supposed to like uh, I believe this is day two or three into the wipe and this is a monthly server so I'm even more excited that means I can build I don't have to sit there and worry about sitting there for two weeks don't know if the server does a purge or anything like that but uh, everyone that I bumped into is extremely nice they seem to know who I am and that's even a little more alarming that oh hey Dark Angel, how are you? Oh yeah, we saw the video of what happened to you in the last server. Uh, just completely ignore those pricks and have fun on this one. I'm like, looking up and I'm like, huh, that's different. I don't see that every day. <laughs> uh, you got the pirate ship out there. Like, you can tell I'm happy. I'm excited. <laughs> Anyways, make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the subscribe button. I'll see you guys again soon.